Today I'm taking a look at this AntiCine ASICS Pro monitor. Keep in mind they did send this to me to check out. There's a lot of functions, a lot of features to this monitor. The main thing is the pass-through on the HDMI plus a adapter for different devices like transmitters. I don't have a transmitter but I did take this out to do photography and videography with it. First off let's go over what it comes with. You've got this little arm here, adapter for a cold shoe, another screw for quarter 20, same thing on the bottom. This adapts to any type of camera and such. It has a plastic sunshade you can adapt to it so outdoors that'll be nice or if you're monitoring something indoors and you just want like that full view of the monitor itself that's on there and an option. It has a USB-C to USB-A adapter. It has one battery MPF style. This is 2200 milliamp hours. Nice and compact. These batteries are easy to come by. There's a lot of options, a lot of capacities you can get has the HDMI to micro HDMI cord. It has a little bracket that goes on the device. So if you do attach something else, you're gonna use this. And it comes with a nice semi-hard case. Inside here, there's a flap to separate the monitor from everything else. And you have a space here for all your accessories. Let's go over some of the ways of using this monitor. First off, with out in the field. Here's the setup I put together. I have a Canon EOS M50. With the M50, the HDMI comes out this side, which is not great. I have this little Manfrotto MP3 BK tripod. And I just use this as a grip. You can adjust the tilt very easily on the screen. So if I want to do something lower, just to get a little bit more stability. Peaking works nicely. I'm able to easily tell where it's focusing. Another thing you want to consider when you have like on-screen menus, it's going to mess with your histogram on the monitor itself. So you don't want to have stuff from the camera showing up too much. It is nice not having to crouch down as much. You can just look at the big screen. Another great use case I've found is attaching it to the computer, so as a third or second monitor. For the photographers, obviously you can use this as a preview monitor, good color quality on it. It's got high resolution, nice option to add some extra ways to view things. In this case, ACDC has a second monitor view and it shows up on the screen. So you can see overexposed with the monitor telling it based on a setting. And if you want to do ratios, here we can say I want that cinematic ratio, I want 4 to 3 ratio. There's a lot of options. Our full brightness, a lot of sun coming in. You can't use focus assist and overexposure at the same time. I'd rather have peaking on there. There's a little bit of a white edge that's coming from the text on the screen. So you just need to be mindful of any on-screen control text or anything like that will show up in your histogram probably on the monitor itself. You can still zoom in if you want. On the device itself you have a barrel connector for power going in, 12 volt. I do have an adapter that works. They're pretty decent and easy to come by, relatively cheap. I've been using it quite a bit with this adapter. You have the two HDMIs, one for input, one for output. On the top we've got a quarter 20 thread. We have the different buttons for menu and controlling the on-screen information. Of course it has the touch screen as well, so two different ways to control the monitor. On the bottom we've got the DC out 8.4 volt for any type of thing you want to connect to the monitor. The headphone port and the USB-C for charging. Doing some video editing goes onto the screen. So I'll use my other two monitors, one for like reference material, one for the editing. It's nice to have this. One thing you can do here Let's go into the settings and then change the ratio. So if you want cinematic ratio, what they use in the theaters, you can have those lines on there, get a reference. Let's look at some of the functions of the light itself. Go to the menu, you can touch on the screen, just things as you want. So on the top here we have histogram, also focus assist that's peaking. You can adjust the color and audio related features. If you're interested in that coming through the HDMI overexposure, that does turn off the peaking focus assist. You can see the red areas. You can have a grid, you can have safe area, marker, ratio, so 4 to 3, 16 by 9, all those things. 
anamorphic adjustments. Obviously, I don't have anything for that, but it's in there. Aspect ratio. Here's color temperature adjustments, some LUTs options there. I have it in user color at the moment, but you can change the color temperature. Another thing you can do is use something like a Roku, a Google Chromecast thing, get up to the monitor. Anything with HDMI will work. Take that audio, push it into your PC, something like that. It's just another option, another thing you can use it for. There's a lot of interesting functionality to it. You do have the two HDMI ports. You have a lot of ways to power it. The 12 volt power in is very nice because I can use it as a third monitor to look at my video stuff, my photo stuff, show framing on the screen itself. It's a very nice feature. Taking it out to do manual focus photography was definitely helpful. Having that nice large screen, still zoom in on the camera and seeing it that way. I do notice with my specific camera, the M50, when you zoom in, there's so much like sensor wobble that it's difficult to do through the viewfinder and the back screen. But with this, it was a little bit easier just because I could place myself and see it in there work nicely. So a lot of functions, a lot of features, some things I wasn't able to go into. Of course, with this additional thing to adapt like transmitters and stuff, I don't have one available, but it's in there in an option. So just keep in mind, they did send me this monitor to check out and make a video on. Scott Photography Bonsai, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and the applause feature. All of that helps out. Thanks. Mm -hmm.